How dare your fucking recorder cut me off in that last video? <laughs> now we'll never know what games you'll have on your PS4. It is literally probably four titles <laughs> and their sequels. <laughs> four titles Actually, you know for the PS4. On, count. Count. <laughs> if if One, logic if logic two, like that three, worked. Four. Four fucking titles and their sequels. That's it. <laughs> if Logic like that work, then the Xbox One should only have one game on it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's a sequel of the very first game. <laughs> if Game Logic worked like that, holy shit, I don't think the market would be so broad as it is today. But anyway, everybody, welcome to part 41 of Twilight Princess. We're continuing where we last left off. Is that a little snack pack or some shit that you just handed us? I didn't really see that. <laughs> Ooh, peanuts. Thank you. You shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, like one of those like strudel packs or whatever the fuck they are? <laughs> you, you know them. We used to have them at the school. <laughs> Fig Newtons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I never thought of the letter like that, but yeah, it's, it's a letter that Ronaldo gave us. I can't remember. Jesus Christ, Arnold. Why don't you fucking tone it down a bit, you fat bastard? It's time to get you pumped up. Yeah. <laughs> but anywho. <laughs> yeah, now since the Dominion Rod, ever since we left the Temple of Time, it's now become a glorifying whacking stick. We gotta figure out the secret of how to restore its power back. And the process of doing that is a is very... Is it eating the faces of demons with it? Because I'm pretty sure we're already fluent in this. <laughs> Have you tried plucking it? Unplugging it and plugging it back in. Uh. <laughs> Have you tried sticking it into a demon's arse? <laughs> hmm. Oh, the arse. Well, I stick it out the ass, not the arse. Huh. Never thought about that. Hey, hey, hey. We have to be more user friendly, remember? The fucking YouTube shit. Oh, that's only it's if like you're. Curse non stop. <laughs> oh, that's only if you monetize stuff. Well, eventually we want to try and do that shit. Yeah, but there's other ways of doing it as well, too. <laughs> and Eric became a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, I'm gay. <laughs> but yeah, we gotta talk to what's his face. I can never remember his name. Is what's his face is uh dick for brains? Shit for brains? I, I don't know. Nerdy McForspecs tells us that we need to do something about restoring um uh, he said something. He he says something about the statues that have something to do with getting to the city in the sky. That's what he's been researching for the longest time. But like I said, question: the, How the hell did he get into that fucking tunnel before we did? I don't know. I guess he must have done it when we were back in time. But technically, when we were back in time, we reemerged immediately after we left. Yeah, that's why time travel sucks. <laughs> The less you think about, I, I, I really do hate time travel logic. Yeah, the less you think about it, the, the less more likely it makes sense. <laughs> that and the less likely you'll get like a headache or slash migraine, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, the process of returning the Dominion Rod back to its power is a very long and tedious uh, procedure. Like. The first time you do it, you're absolutely not going to like this process whatsoever. And even going back to future playthroughs, it still sucks to this day. Alright, let's give this bitch our Fig Newton. Here, I love you. Have these pack of peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, look at that. It looks like a snack package. It doesn't look like an envelope at all. You're right. It so does not look like an envelope. I never decided to put the parallels together, though. <laughs> oh, man. Trusty old bat, really? <clears throat> wow. Tell my language. A lot, a lot, of, uh, a lot of sexual innuendos. She, I, she, I think she has a thing, if I recall, for Link, so... Or, sorry, for a, a thing for the asshole here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure she does have a thing for assholes. <laughs> <laughs> uh God, we're so immature. Walked into that one. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, um, we got the invoice, and we gotta give it to this doctor. If I recall, the first thing we need to do is find this one statue, if I recall. Because when we talk to Ilya, I think that's the girl's name who has the amnesia. It's, it's been actually a very long time since I played... Uh... Well, now that I think about it... Okay, hold, on hold on a second. What? We have a town full of city guards 
who should be shitting their pants and running around trying to figure out how to get rid of that barrier. And yet, they're all going about business as no usual. Yeah, the Hyrule Guard has always sucked. I think they need to outsource it to the desert people. They do a better job at guarding their shit than everyone else. And they're fucking women, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, you have to have women do the jobs of the men in this universe. Except <laughs> for Link. He's, like, the exception to the fucking rule. <laughs> Unless he's a girl. I don't know. I can, I can tell by the hairdo. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Now that I think about it, I wouldn't actually doubt it. Hey, Link L is, uh, is a thing in uh, Hyrule Warriors. Link L? Yeah, it's a female version of Link. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't care, and that's creepy. <laughs> no, I'm just like, wow. I, I guess they took the internet's advice <laughs> from all the pornos. I'm pretty sure are out there of this shit. Well, it's not like it's totally like sexified or anything like that. But he, sniff it. Sniff that shit. Yeah. So, oh God, yes. Yeah. So we are getting because um, what I was trying to get into earlier is that Ilya, the girl who has the amnesia, who took care of our horse and you know punished us for treating it so badly at the very beginning of the game. This we treated like shit. Anything. We just used the damn thing. I know. I know. But even she, you know. Admits that she got a little bit, she got a little bit overprotective, and you know what? I think that actually is a point she brings up: the how jealous that um, the uh, the link that uh, Link and Hippona ha 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 share with each other. Oh, God. Rar, I'm a dog. <laughs> Wait a second. There's a cat. <laughs> you don't smell Forget like medicine it. at all. But yeah, the same cat that uh, helped us uh, restore uh, Minna back to normal, or at least got us to the Hyrule Castle, is now telling us about these uh, beasts that only come during the southern gate of um, this town at nighttime, and they have this statue. This statue is the key to get Ilya's memory back. Don't know why, but it just is. She must have had some really fucked up things going on in our life to have a statue do it. Well, the only reason why we're only able to know this is because apparently, because if you recall, we met her here in Hyrule Castle and apparently she's been uh, frequently helping out the doctor. So, and I think the doctor at one point did mention the little statue she used to carry, if I recall. So that's the only reason why we know. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the only reason why we know what to do in this situation. Oh, so it's a cherished family heirloom that will remind her that, of who she is. I don't know. They don't really go too much into detail what the statue is of. Oh no, wait, they do. Uh, it actually is um, a statue that she got from. Uh, I don't know if you remember the hidden village in this game. I think, yeah, I do. I remember it. Yeah, she got she got it from the uh, per the only person that lives in the hidden village. I can never remember their name. But then again, like I said, it's been forever since I played this game. I mean, technically, I did play it last year because the HD port came out uh, around March of last year. Kind of makes me really wish that I would have recorded that version instead of the Wii version because looking at the video quality right now, it is shit. <laughs> <laughs> And the yeah. HD version actually does make the game look a little... It actually does make it look really, really good. Um, you know, I know a lot of people were complaining, like, ah, oh, they want it to be like a full-on HD remake, and it's not. It's just like a HD port. But for what it is, it's actually pretty damn good. The only problem is you need to have a Wii U for it, and that's the only downside to the um, the port, the HD port, is that okay, it's on the on. console. So we literally dug down a giant fucking spire mountain kind of thing into a pit. How in the hell does Link have the energy to dig that much? Even in dog form. My dogs can't even fucking do that. They dig holes, but it takes them days just to dig a little bit. Just to get under the fucking fence. This is the same son of a bitch who can freaking roll and throw, like, a ball and chain that's at least got to be like twice his size and at least three times or four times his weight. 
I'd dislocate my fucking knees doing that thing. <laughs> Yeah, but he does no, it I like there's no I didn't fucking problem. My damn back like if I, if I tried to use that crap. <clears throat> oh, did you just notice that thing there? <clears throat> oh, um, the uh, the hive. Yeah. Here they come. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You're not escaping us. <clears throat> You know, the the reason why I did that is because I'm so used to um, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask where if you do encounter beehives like that, the only way to get rid of them is to shoot them down with arrows. But take this, assholes. Yeah. Alright, they're not coming. <laughs> <laughs> Am I good? Am I good? Okay, I'm good. <laughs> God. I would have uh, taken the chance. I would have jumped in the water immediately after that. Ah, bomb arrows. The best thing of Zelda. So Unless you have fire, ice, and light arrows. Yeah, but nothing. Ice, <laughs> ice arrows to cool my drinks, fire arrows to start my barbecue, and a light arrow to make it daylight again. <laughs> light arrows for uh, for flashlights, and bomb arrows <laughs> just for everything else. <laughs> Opening bomb the Bomb arrows to get rid of my issues. <laughs> I'm paying the bill. <laughs> well, there goes the water company. They're not existing anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I freaking love bomb arrows. Favorite item in Zelda history. There still hasn't been a item yet that has titillate my taste buds as much as stuff. Bomb arrows. Stupid crows. Really, your taste buds? How does that? I'm honestly wondering how the hell that correlates to loving bomb arrows. <laughs> what do you do? Lick them? You fucking freak? <laughs> yeah, I'm, pr I'm actually starting to think that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes so Ugh. explosive. -y. <laughs> but yeah, at this point, I'm just waiting until the dogs come. But yeah, I'm gonna jump cut to later <laughs> that night. Yeah, because it, it does take actually quite a while for the night and day transition in uh, Twilight Princess to occur. So now, since it's finally That's well, been my issue. I just fucking ride around or teleport everywhere. Yeah, but even so, the process still takes a while, and I'm not gonna make you sit through that. So pretty much after killing... Oh my god! A yellow rupee! It's not like we haven't come across like 50 of those. But hey, since you saved and had to start back up, you now have to go through that fucking notification again. Oh my goodness! I'm pretty sure I said this in an earlier part because I remember that we restarted this once again when the HD port of it came out. But I am so happy that the HD port got rid of that crap. Where every time you start up your freaking file again, it doesn't do the whole, Oh my god, you got ten you rupees. Oh my god, you got five rupees. Oh my god, oh my you got god. twenty rupees. Oh my god, a rock! <laughs> 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 like, that is, uh, it's like they really treated us like we really would not remember the currency exchange of this damn game. Well, in truth, the way things are going these days, I'm pretty sure somewhere down the line that's going to be true. Uh, high rules economy is shit. <laughs> no, 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 not high rule. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't talking about high rules. <laughs> but now since we got the statue back, now we're going to give this back to Ilya. And I think at this point we're going to be going to finally going to the hidden village. So let's get the rod right. out. Now, oh. lady... I want you to know, I hate you. You stole my horse. You caused all this shit to happen. If it wasn't for you, I would have already saved the princess and been gone on with my life. Fortunately, but Link no. has to have have soft spot. So here's your statue back. It's, it's it's weird because it's like the statue is a Sheikah eye. So I always thought that you know the hidden village is you know where the Sheikah used to resign. And I think that is a plot point. So I can uh, all I'm thinking is, is this is a constant like rebirth and uh, retelling of the story as it, time goes on. How in the hell did the Shiga keep coming back? Because they're always dwindled down to like one person, literally. I have no idea. What I'm curious about in uh, Breath of the Wild is how they're able to have such advanced technology. They have advanced technology in Breath of the Wild? Dude, in Breath of the Wild, uh, when Link wakes up, he gets this uh, Sheikah Slate. It's pretty much a fucking tablet. 
and you use it to activate all sorts of shrines and mechanical stuff because the thing is the whole point of um breath of the wild is that zelda has been trapped inside hyrule castle with ganon in its struggle for about 100 years and you pretty much need to just recontrol the divine beasts which were made to pretty much fight back ganon because now he caught control of them and you use your sheikah tablet pretty much to just control them back because they're literally walking machines so I'm just curious, like, how the hell does the Sheikah able to have such advanced technology while also being old at the same time? It's like, what the fuck? Uh, I will just <clears throat> put in the logic of the Black Panther and Marvel comics. <laughs> dun -dun, dun -dun. <laughs> That's Pink Panther, you dumbass. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But no, uh, Black Panther and his civilization in Marvel comics is literally the most advanced civilization on the Earth. Isn't Black Panther also the most richest uh, character in the Marvel he's universe? He's literally fucking Batman. Like he's, he's more Marvel's Batman. Like he's more richer than freaking Tony Stark, isn't he? Yes. He's a king of his own nation. He's a king and not only that, he has the Adamantium minds, right? Yeah. Well, basically he is a major superpower with being a small country which is literally one city. Yeah. Can't wait for his movie, though. Oh, me neither. It's gonna be amazing. But yeah, now we actually are going into the hidden village part, and this is probably other than uh, in the soundtrack, uh, Midnight's Lament uh, is one of the only other uh, tracks that they ever mention in Twilight Princess. It really sucks because Twilight Never what Pri um, the hidden village uh, rescue theme that's gonna be playing in the next part. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's weird because this I, it's funny because Koji Kondo is usually the guy who always does the Zelda music. He did not return for Twilight Princess, but even with the two uh, new composers that they got for it, this soundtrack is still great. I still love this game soundtrack. Uh, 